Okay, so I'd just like to start off where the last video ended. I have um, three charges here. Um, zero, one, and two. One and two at the ends have um, half the charge of zero and they have opposite signs. So one and two we called Q, Q zero we call minus Q. All right. And we worked out what the vector positions are of these from the origin. All right. Uh, now, um, after having drawn this, what we'd like to do is we'd like to find um, the field at this point and this point. We'll have to do that separately. And we have to follow a few steps. Basically, we have to follow three steps, right? Uh, the first step is to find what these distances are from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, for in, this, in the case of A, and in the case of B, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. Actually, we want displacements. We want a vector. Oh, so we want displacements, which means a vector um, for each one of those in those two cases. And then after we have those, we can find the fields from, from here to here separately. And then we can add all three up and get our answer. All right, so it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, so let's do this for A first, right? Um, so we want to find the uh, displacements. All right. Um, so the displacement from 1 to A, from 1 to A, is equal to um, XA minus X1, right? So um, A, we just said, was S over 2. In the x hat direction, we said that um, 1 is at minus s, so we have minus minus s x hat. So that makes a total of um, 3 halves s in the x hat direction. So it's going this way, 3 halves x. That makes perfect sense. That's exactly what we see here. 1 half, 2 half, 3, 1 half, 2 half, 3 halves, right? Very good. And and now, obviously, from uh, from 2 to A, we have XA minus X1. In this case, we have a positive sign here, so we have minus S X hat, and we just have minus 1 half S X hat. And finally, we have from 0 to A, um, 0 is just at 0, so... Um, we're not going to have much in the way of uh, subtraction. We just have s over 2 in the x hat direction. So each one of these can um, give us a field from Coulomb's, from basically the Coulomb field, uh, which I'll write really quickly as e equals q over 4 pi epsilon naught r hat over r squared. Um, so you'll notice I'm going to use these, these displacements from each source, rather than these, which are their, um, their locations in the coordinate system. Um, these are frame independent. This depends on where we're measuring from. Okay. And the force doesn't care where we're measuring from. It doesn't, it doesn't care if we're on the left side of the room, the right side of the room, you know, hanging upside down from the ceiling. The force on... Um, something over here doesn't matter and the field is just a way to talk about the force. So then we need to find the fields and since they're all in the x hat direction actually these are fairly simple looking um, fairly simple looking fields. EA1 is going to equal uh, uh, the charge on one is Q so we have Q over 4 pi epsilon naught. This has to be in the x hat direction. And we've got um, 3 halves s squared, which is 4 ninths q over 4 pi epsilon naught in the x hat direction over s squared. Okay. Um, Ea2, in contrast, has almost everything the same except that's a minus x hat, right? Uh, this has the opposite sign. 
and um, this has one half s squared, so that's just one quarter, or no, excuse me, that's four times. Um, Q over four pi epsilon naught x hat uh, minus, right, over s squared. And then we have E a zero, um, which is a whole lot like this one, only it's pushing in the opposite direction, and we've got two Q, oh, it's pulling in the same direction, I'm sorry. Um, x hat over one half s squared. It's pulling in the same direction because it's got the opposite sign charge. So that's um, really minus eight, right? Q over four pi epsilon naught x hat over s squared. All right, so that tells me that um, this guy's going to get pulled this way when we um, actually sum them up, right? So we superimpose, we said. Su superimposing fields means we just add them up. Point by, at any particular point, we just add up all the fields. And so we have E is equal to EA0 plus EA1 plus EA2, right? And um, that is going to equal 4 ninths minus... 12 q over 4 pi epsilon naught x over s squared. Um, so 9, 108. So that's equal to minus 104 over 9 q over 4 pi epsilon naught x hat over s squared. Um, so that's just a number, uh, and we could we could look at this in relationship between the field from here to here, right? Um, so when we looked at this, each one this one's smaller, these two are larger. It all makes perfect perfect sense. So that's that's basically how we do it. Um, that's for the simpler one as far as the vectors are concerned because we have that um, A there. I think, yeah, let's, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and come back to the other one um, independently.